మన కన్నా ఎదుటినే ఇదే జిల్లాలో జిస్కోటు గుంటూరు you know it hit all the newspapers it went to the court illegal mining illegal mining rampant illegal mining right in front of our eyes right neighboring district guntur what did we do is this the best practice is this number one policing we need to ask ourselves right in front of our eyes mla is demanding money from theaters theater owners also guntur institutions are are forced to pay money clubs are run where gambling takes place mls are involved all this is happening in front of our eyes was happening in front of our eyes is this the best practice for governance good governance is this number one policy right in this capital city in the name of land pooling in the name of land pooling land evane varu who were not wanting to part with their land it's their land we need to respect that but government wants it somebody is not wanting to part there is no humanity shown right in front of our eyes people who do not who people who did not want to cooperate they were harassed false cases booked so much so that 11 of them committed suicides just yesterday i think i saw it in the times of india newspaper headlines rti act 11 of them committed suicides people who were not wanting to give land for land pooling and six of them are dalits and them is this good governance best practices is this number one policing right here in vijayawada city women were harassed given money at high interest rates and they were not able to pay and because they were not able to pay they were forced into sex racket they were videographed in city call money sex racket scam what happened how many cases booked how many of them were arrested big zero is this best practice is this good governance is this a number one policy i ask you straight emanne adugutha unna so many of us are sitting here i yes yesterday i met i was posing the same question to the ias officers now i'm asking you so many of us officers are sitting here ias ips civil servants government secretaries 
highest level bodies, ministers, including the chief minister himself. All of us are sitting here. Very well knowing that this building is illegal building. Very well knowing that this building where we sit in, where we're sitting in, has breached every violation. Letter written by the department quoting the rules, irrigation, irrigation department quoting the rules, the road on which we traveled, the bund, the bund level, the maximum flood level of the flood level is 22.6, the area where we are sitting is at 19.6 meters. River Conservation Act breached, Lokaikta judgments breached, Green Tribunal judgments breached, Master Plan breached, Building Bylaws breached. In front of our eyes, Ikade. Manakella Yadutune CM Gare illegal building lo untaru Pakane Maji no, sorry Maji CM Gare Whatever it is, even if CM even if I do it it's still wrong. Doesn't make a difference. We are in positions of authority. Does it justify? Because I am a CM, because you are an SP, because you are a collector, you can do it. We can't. How does it justify a CM staying in an illegal house, illegal property, illegal building? The government itself constructs an illegal building. And then what happened? Because CM himself is living in an illegal building. Because the government itself constructs an illegal building. What happens? You see this entire road. Everywhere you have illegal buildings coming up. Nobody to stop. stop. Right in front of our eyes. See this entire road. What are we doing? Is this good governance? Best practices? I ask all of you to think. When we are in power, when we are in position of strength, it comes with responsibility. We need to live by an example. We need to set certain standards in place. And when we drop, do we have any moral right or authority to even question anybody else? We need to ask ourselves this basic question. That is why I say to all of you sitting down here, I say, say no to corruption, say no to looting, say no to illegal activity. And to clean up the system, to bring about a change into the system, to set a standard in place, Yesterday I gave a call. I said I'm holding this meeting just to, show, just to showcase this. This is not how one should be.